Hello everybody, today we'll be doing next square root element number one. Here is the problem, it is an easy problem, but it can be get pretty difficult if we're going to do this in O of n1 uh, length plus n2 length solution. Um, basically, uh, what's happening here, let's take a look at the example, and um, because I've read this already, and we could basically grasp what's going on through examples. Happy case. So in this problem, we are given two zero indexed arrays here. And what we're looking for is the element. Let's see what happens uh, to using the first index uh, array. We're going to find an item that is greater than that item in number two and get that particular value. If we can't find it, let's say four looks, looks for a four and find another element that's greater than it on the right side, then nothing exists, then we'll return negative one. Here we have a one, we find the one and we look to the right. Can we find anything? We found three, that's good. And two, we look for the two and we can't find anything, so we return negative one and therefore we give an output of negative one, three, and negative one. We also have this particular uh, example here. So now we have a second example. The second example is to point us to um, look for 2, and we found 3, and we'll look for the 4, and we found negative 1. And with that, uh, we are ready to um, look at some edge cases. So edge case. Well, one edge case is uh, to have no items, and I think that is basically very simple to figure out there, then there is no items to find. Um, but of course, there, it says here that there must be at least one, so the edge case is a single item. And, and we know what to return here, we turn two. Okay, so anything else that we need to think about that is um, pretty difficult for us to solve? I don't think so, but um, in the easy case, time complexity. I can think of, uh, it can be done in O times N time because, well, it is not too difficult to think about by just looking for creating a, um, a hash map of these variables, right? Looking at this item, if it's in here, in this hash map, uh, get that index, so, and uh, we have the item. We have that item in our nums1 uh, index, and what happens here is uh, O of 1 operation, where we have to search one uh, and the next item in this for each item that's in num1 and we have to search through num2 for it that will give us an n times m time however we if we want to speed this up we can use a mono uh, but we that's not our time limitation our time limitation is o of n plus m that means we cannot look through this entire thing we can only look through it once all right so how do we do that how we look through it once is a uh, pretty Simple. We uh, we use a monotonic um, increasing uh, decreasing actually monotonic decreasing stack decreasing stack. What that means is that what we're gonna do is add the first item in the stack, add the second item into the stack. If the um, second item is larger than the first item, that means that this is our this is going to be the answer for this particular item. So that means that our output here is we're going to increase it by, um, we're going to put the three in for our one that we find, which is here in our index uh, number one. So we throw that three in. And then we add three in to later to see if there's a three. We add three in only if uh, we see that in num one. If it's not in num one, then we don't add it. So in this case, we don't add it to our stack. Next, we put the four into the stack, and uh, we are looking for a smaller item than the four. But um, and and then then of course there is none uh, after we put the two in, because there there is no smaller item, and everything that's remaining in the stack. What we're gonna do is just that we're gonna leave it as a negative one item, in uh, for those indexes. So if you do not get that clearly, we can write we have to write it out anyways so that uh, writing the code will make it easier. So first things first, um, what we're going to do, create a hash map between the numbers 
and index. So key is number, value is equal to index. Two, what we're going to do is use a for loop to iterate through num2. We also forgot to create a stack. Create a stack to hold um, decreasing values. So we create a stack to hold decreasing values. We'll iterate through num2. If num if uh, the value, if the num is equal, is in num1, then put it in the stack. If and, and while there is an item, while the top of the stack is lesser than the num, use that new that num as the max value. and insert into the result i. So we also have to create a array to hold all answers, sized, length, nums, one. OK. And with that, we are ready to go. That's the plan. Um, yeah, and basically, I think we went over it earlier already. I hope that it made a lot of sense. If it didn't, uh, let's go over another example, just in case. So our plan was that um, we're going to insert items into our stack. So let's say for this example, here we insert, let's say, two into our stack, right? And we find three. Like, I mean, suppose we even look for one, right? Suppose we're even looking for one. All right, so we're looking for one, uh, we throw it in the stack. We look for two, we throw in the stack. Um, but because we see that the two is bigger than one, we can eliminate the one and set that as two immediately, right? Next, we take the three. We're looking at, we're taking the three item and we found that, oh look, this is bigger than two. So that means the next item is gonna be three. We put that in, take out the th two. We don't put the three in because we don't see any numbers. So that means uh, that lastly, we put in, we take the four and of course we put it in, but there's no item in the four. So lastly, um, we will just have to keep that as negative one set at negative one if it doesn't update if no updates right so um, also what this means is that uh, suppose that uh, we put a like um, we swap these orders let's swap it and let's see what's going on so let's say we swap it right and we put the two in first of course, that's not bigger. And we put the one in afterwards. All right, we put two items in. And now we have a three, right? We have a three. We have a three, that means both of these are going to be three, right? So as long as this item is bigger than the, the top item, so this is going to be three, this is going to be three, these are removed, right? Now we have a four. And uh, what happens here is uh, that, that there's no item there. And it just stays in the, the, the stack. And we have solved this problem again. So that's how we're going to solve this problem. It's by remembering uh, the smaller items and then taking a using monotonically decreasing stack and using a, a top bigger number to handle um, to say that, oh, we found something bigger than all of these before. And let's 
handle it now. So let's do an implementation and uh, let's finish this problem off. All right, so like, <laughs> uh, let's go to the top uh, because I, I want to have room and I just don't want to, you know, so I'm just gonna put the plan up here. We're gonna do an implementation, implementation down here. Here's some happy cases, some edge cases. Let's comment those out. All right, so here's the implementation. This isn't too bad. Um, first of all, let's create an array called answers equals negative one times the length of um, the numbers one. So this is how you create a empty array with all filled with negative ones. Next thing, what we need to do is create a hash map. So hash map equals two. Let's say enumerate. Let's say num one. So four. Um, what we're gonna enumerate is the with the index and the value, right? Um, and we're gonna insert that as a key and value pair. So basically, um, we have to use. Uh, sorry, that's a dictionary. My bad. And that means i points to value. Let's see if that works. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is how it's done. Um, yeah. So print hash map. Uh, just run it. OK. That's not how we do it. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, in. My bad. Hopefully that works. Okay, got it. See? So we have the index and the value. That's not what we want. We want the value and the index. My bad. Great. Now we have the index and value pair. Okay, now we can look up from uh, every time we, we look for an item in num1, if it exists, then we insert into a stack. So we need to create a stack right now. So let's create that stack to hold decreasing values. And we're going to create a loop now. So for i in range of nums2, num is equal to nums2 and i, right? And while um, the top stack and stack at the negative one spot, the top of the stack, is lesser lesser than this item num um, then uh, what we're gonna do is set our answer at this particular um, index of stack minus one so hash map I mean let's separate the logic a little bit so that we don't like have too many confusions um, so index of lesser number is equal to the stack the hash map at the stack minus one okay so that means basically we got the index of the lesser number so we take the index of the lesser number and we're going to set that to be the current num, which we have said to do here. Okay, great. And then what happens next is um, if our item, let's say if our num is in nums1, that means we have to throw it into the stack for processing. So the stack dot append our num. With that, uh, we have completed our this this part of the answer, and we're gonna return um, the results now, the answers. Let's run the code. Okay, so a list. 
aha, so this is the problem. It's length of list. So what we can do instead is um, we can just do this. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but I don't see us using um, anything, doing anything else other than that. So let's just simplify our code, right? Ah, one thing. We did not pop the stack that, that caused the problem. So So let's uh, let's pop stack dot pop. Let's pop the stack here. Great. Um, with that, uh, we have solved the problem, and let's submit it. Great. Um, with that, uh, we have completed uh, the the review process. If we, I mean, we've gone through it a couple of times already. And uh, we have also um, done, we, what we have also done here is that we are going to evaluate it now. So uh, the time complexity, like we have said, is going to be O of N plus M. The reason being, uh, we basically gone over the N, right? We created hash map of N and basically for looped uh, num2 hash map, of, hash map of num1 and num2 yeah and a for looped num2 and basically those those two things what we did is uh, basically o of n plus m um, the while loop here basically just removes the item from the stack so that's basically nothing um, that's o of m at most or o of n at most so yeah um, with that, uh, we have the space complexity of O of, let's say, N. We have the hash map. And uh, we also have the answer, so 2N. We don't use M because we're not storing any of that information. We're just using it. And with that, uh, we have solved this problem. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you want more videos, check the link in the description below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.